Parents with young kids are always looking for things to do. Jennifer Hazard was one of those parents and did something about it. She put together the main playbook and it covers all four seasons, what to do, where to go, things that are happening. First of all, a lot of traveling to put this together. Yeah, yeah, my family and I, we traveled up and down the state and because uh, it was really important for me to include all of Maine, not just the coast, every little nook and cranny. I love that you have it separated into seasons and into activities. Let's start with hiking because one of the things you have suggested for hiking in the fall is Coos Canyon in Byron. That's right. We um, It's a little roadside stop and in the summertime it's really popular for swimmers and we stopped there um, in the fall when the water level was low and the Swift River cuts through that gorge and it's just beautiful place for kids to explore on the rocks and yeah. gorgeous views. Yeah. It, this photo says it all. One of my favorites in this book because I grew up right down the road from it but clearly <laughs> never took advantage of it. So this. you can get a twofer out of this. <laughs> Andrew Scoggin, Riverlands State Park in Turner. Right, so that is, it's really special. Um, it's just a one mile out and back hike, so really easy. <laughs> and you're going through a forested area and seeing the remnants of old farmhouses, which is pretty cool. And then when you get out to the point, there's picnic tables and just amazing views of uh, the water and foliage, and it's just a great place to go on a fall weekend. And when you're in Turner, stop and ask people if they know Amanda, because yes. most yeah. of them, 90% <laughs> of them will. Well, that's just Turner, it's just that's, a small town. That's just <laughs> part of the thrill. You got a category of farm visits. One of the places mm -hmm. you recommend, Sweetser's Apple Barrel and Orchards in Cumberland, which I've been there before. I was there just last fall, as a matter of fact, and it's yeah. always a fun place to go. What is it that you like in particular yeah, about this well, place? Well, I'm a little partial to Sweetser's, because it's my hometown, but but uh, they are great because you can get an apple education there. While you can't pick apples there, they have apples in a little bit of a cubby and heirloom apples, all kinds. And they'll even, if you ask questions, they'll let you know what you can bake with you know, what's great to eat, and they'll even let you try something that's new to you. Again, the name of this, the, sub, uh, the subtitle of your book is A Four Season Guide to Family Fun and Adventure, and that's really key, because this is what got you interested in this whole topic, is you had little kids, you were a little stir crazy, you had a little cabin fever, yeah. you wanted to get out of the house. One of the places that you really love, because it's great for kids, is Pineland Farms in New Gloucester. There's so much to do there not just for the kids, but for the adults as well. That's right, I mean, we've loved it. My kids are 11 and 12 now. We've loved it since they were small, and they have coming up a harvest festival at the end of the month. That's a lot of fun, but it balances out for things to do for younger kids, you know, they have a corn maze and a story walk in the woods and they can meet the animals. And then for older kids, they have a scarier sort of haunted walk through the woods at <laughs> night. So it runs, the, it runs the gamut, which is really great. What's great about this book that you've put together is that you have events everywhere in the state from down east to Presque Isle to southern Maine. You've covered the gamut here, but, and you talk about hidden gems, but you also talk about some of the big events, like the Dam Riscata Pumpkin Festival. Yeah, I think there's some th that, you know, people know about, but it's, it's important, I think, to experience at least once, and that festival has so many unique things going on, but what my family really loves and I think is unique to Maine is they hollow out these giant pumpkin boats <laughs> on Columbus Day going up and down. People are racing up and down the Dan Riscotta River in these very awkward, you know, big <laughs> boats. And so it's just so much fun to see and it's just a great day to, to be out. Bill and, and about. Don have been in those I'm boats. I'm going to say news center's Don Kerrigan has been the MC at the Pumpkin Festival before. I don't know yes. if he's doing it again this year, but he's got deep <laughs> yeah, roots in that community. Fun place seen to Bill be. tip over in it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also some fun, weird festival happening in Brunswick, the mm -hmm. Slumber Bed Race. Yes, yes. So that happens in November, and that is a fun, weird festival <laughs> they have. Um, it's different community organizations and nonprofits that come together that race these rolling slumber beds that they design and people dress up too. Like last, last time that I went, there were a bunch of guys like dressed up in suits and Santa Claus hats and the library had, <laughs> their theme was where the wild things are. And it's just so, it's really fun for all ages to experience because again, it's something really unique, I think, to Maine. It's not something that you 
hear yeah. about very often. I don't think they do that yeah. in Orlando. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Again, Again what's, really, what's really cool about the book is that it's separated into different seasons. We just covered the fall, but you know, you've got winter and spring and summer and different hikes and, and places to visit. So, yeah. really interesting read. It's designed to really keep families really enjoying the outdoors throughout all four seasons. Very. Yeah. Right. Jennifer Hazard, the book is called The Main Playbook. Thanks so much for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me. And you can find this where books are sold. 207, we'll be right back.